Today I'm going to show you how to use the DB Power jump, j Jumper Starter. So two days ago my grandma realized her car had lost battery when we were trying to go to the grocery store. So we don't know why but let's but we got this off Amazon and it just arrived today so let's get started. So it, it comes in a box like this. And inside you have you have your case. It's nice and hard and has a strap to carry. And so it also has a zipper right here so then let's unzip it. And so inside we have the alligator clamps. It has very clear po ne positive and negative. And it has a screen to show you if you have put them in the wrong socket. And then let's just peel off the plastic covering. Oh. That's, okay, yeah, let's do that later. <laughs> um, we have a charger for in the car and it has a tiny little light right there. So then you can see if it's done. Then it has this connect charger and it has different heads to go with this. And it has a USB charger, which I use for my Kindle, so. And then it has a charger for when you charge it inside the house. Right here, it has the jump starter capacity and ve and vehicle emission checklist. We flip that up and it has a ma a manual and two get gift card thing codes. So and then you have the jump starter itself. The case is really nice and it can and let, let's open this. Right here, you have the charge, the jump starter. It has a compass, an emergency light, a flashlight, a on and off part where you um, put this part in, and a charger, a charging thing, a and two outlets. This one is for any others and this one is for your smartphone. This is the power button and this is the another output button. Right here you have the screen where it shows you that what <coughs> percent batteries you have. So let's press the on off button and it has 70% battery and right now if you press if you double click the power button, it will turn on this emergency light. You double click it to turn it off. You press the this and it should turn on the flashlight. Another click, a flashing one. And then the last one is SOS. And to turn off, you press it for a little, for a couple seconds and it will turn off. So let's go out and charge my grandma's car. Let's go.
Okay guys, so we just came back from outside and sadly did not charge my grandma's car. So we believe it's because it was fully dead and it was out for a week. So we had to use a traditional jumper and connect it to a healthy battery. But it is great for emergencies and if you're in a parking lot or on the side of the road, it can charge it and start it really nicely. If Say if you're like in the middle of the road, your battery's dead on everything and your phone's dead too, you can charge it and you can call someone to help. You can also flash someone on the side of the road or and it's really a really great device. So I hope you guys like this and like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.